Here we've got a tripeptide. It means that tripeptide, you've got three peptides. You've got three amino acids forming peptide links. Peptide link is um, a carbon to oxygen double bond, the carbonyl group, and an NH. So anytime we get, have a C to do O double bond and an NH, biologists would call it a peptide link. Uh, chemists call it an amide link. Um, so you've got an, a peptide or an amide link there, and you've got a peptide or an amide link there. What's it been formed from? So before it's formed this short polymer, that C double bond O has been a, a C double bond OOH, a carboxylic acid group, and that NH has been an NH2, an amine group or an amino group, and similarly here. I suppose it could have been formed from a COCl, but if it's been an amino acid, and amino acids have carboxylic acid groups on the end. So it's been a carboxylic acid group, an NH group, forming a peptide link or an amide link and releasing water in a condensation reaction. It can be rehydrolyzed so the water can be added back in again and it can break up again um, by adding a little bit of acid alkali in, uh, in water, dilute acid or alkali. Anyway, uh, draw a separate circle around each of the asymmetric carbon atoms. That's a carbon with four different groups attached in the uh, in the structure. So it's not this one. That carbon's got two different hydrogens. That's not got four bonds. This is one. Here's a carbon with a group going this way, which is different from a group going this way, an H going that way, and a CH3, CHOH going that way. I think that's one there as well. Yes, it is. There's a CH, a H going one way, and no H going one way, and a methyl group, and then all this going the other way. So there's one there and one there. Um, there's also one here as well. There's a carbon here with uh, this CH2, four, four lots of CH2 and an NH2, a carbon, uh, a carboxylic acid group going this way, an H going this way, and then this whole bunch of other atoms going that way. So that's one as well. So there are three different ones. Draw the zwitterion of glycine. Well, you can work out what glycine is because it's all of this, and this CO has been a COOH. You could also get it off your data book as well. So it looks like this. It's got an NH2 with a CH2 with a COOH here. That's glycine here. Draw the zwitterion. So zwitterion, what it does is zwitterion has got COO minus on this end. It's lost the H and that O has got a minus here. And at this end, this end gets the H and it becomes plus. So that becomes NH3 with a plus on the N. So the zwitterion looks like that. COO uh, minus with a minus on the O and an NHH, three H's and a plus on the N. Uh, you can draw it as a displayed formula or like that. Draw the structure of the species film and glycine reacts with an excess of bromoethane. Tough that. Tough that. What it is, is it's forming a quaternary ammonium salt in uh, four different, four, um, one at a time, four different uh, additional elimination reactions. So there's a lone pair of electrons on that N, which would attack the C, so if you've got e, uh, bromoethane, you've got CH3CH2Br, well that uh, lone pair of electrons attacks the C on the CH3, CH3CH2, the CH2 part, and the Br comes off. So in other words, a CH2CH3 joins onto here, and every time it does so, it does it once, twice, three times, and it creates three different... Um, ethyl group CH2, CH3, 1, 2, 3. And the third time it does it, it leaves a plus on the N because it can't then release another H. So it will form that. Did you use the name of threonine? So threonine looks like this. You could work that out from here. So you've got CH3, CHOH, CH. This bit, this C double bond OH has been a COOH. Here, this is your CHOH CH3. It's drawn up here, but it's drawn down here. And this end has been an NH2 before it's bonded to the COOH on this side and formed water. So this has been an NH2. It's been an amino group or a naming group here. So this is threonine. What's its name then? Oh, tough. One, two, three, four. Four carbons 
in a row. So it's but, but, one, two, three, four. Butanoic acid, butanoic acid. If this was carbon number one, because of butanoic acid, one, two, three, four. Butanoic acid, the carboxylic acid group always is carbon number one. So at carbon number one, then if this is carbon number one, you've got carbon number two, you've got an amino group at carbon number two. So you've got two amino, one, two, three, three hydroxy. You've got to name them as an amino group and a hydroxy group because you've already used up the carboxylic acid ending. So you've got butanoic acid. So you've got two amino, three hydroxy, butanoic acid. Draw the structure of the species formed by lysine at low pH. Remember, low pH is acid. So what does something do? What do in acids? So in acid, then if we have a look here, in acid, acids produce H pluses. So where's the H plus going to go? Well, it'll go onto the ends to make NH3 plus. So at low pH, in other words, in acids, it's going to make an NH2 into an NH3, but you've got two NH3 pluses on lysine. This is lysine here, so you, this has been an NH2, and this is an NH2 here, so you draw lysine out, but instead of NH2 and NH2, the two NH2s become NH3 pluses.